Hi friends, here I would like to differentiate between homothalism and heterothalism. In case of reproduction in microbes or uh, any pathogens, the sexual reproduction is a common feature of pathogenic fungi except those belong to fungi in perfect type. It involves fusion of two haploid cells which may or may not be sexually differentiated to produce a cell containing two nuclei that is called as dicaryon. The duration of dicaryon stage varies from a very brief period that may be phycomycetes and primitive ascomycetes to the entire life cycle except for the brief diploid and haploid generations in case of smuts. The two nuclei of the dicaryon ultimately fuse to produce a diploid nucleus which undergoes meiosis to produce four haploid nucleus. The haploid nuclei may or may not divide mitotically before they produce haploid sexual spores which on germination gives rise to haploid phase of life cycle. Let us differentiate between the homothalism and heterothalism. Homothalism is when cells that fuse to produce a dicaryon may belong to the same hyphae. In case of heterothalism, the fusion of cells must be of two different mating types, hence from two different hyphae. Here in the figure downside, you can see that in case of homothalism, there are two hyphae which can seen very clearly. Two hyphae are crossed when they are crossed the exchanged genetic material is not different so the variability what is observed in the progeny may be less due to the mating type okay but in case of heterothalism the hyphae where the two different mating types are taken they are entirely different so that the genetic material and the recombination will lead to the different kind or we can say it as heterothalism means more variability is observed. In case of homothalism, it permits the fusion of cells from same hyphae whereas heterothalism permits fusion of genetically dissimilar nuclei to produce a dicaryon. In homothalism, even hyphae with dissimilar nuclei may also fuse. Here appears to be less efficient in the genetics of or generation of genetic variability whereas heterothalism is more efficient in generating genetic variability. Most common mechanism in all groups of fungi generates necessary variable for adaptation and survival due to homothalism but in case of fungi heterothalism is less commonly known. So, the mechanism of heterothalism is found in other kind of microorganisms. I hope you understood this concept. Thank you.